Well, hello everyone. So glad that you are joining us again, either live. Um, <laughs> can you see me? All right. <laughs> Pastor McConnella here. And Pastor Jareda. Hey, um, just wanted to uh, come. Uh, today is day 17 of our 40 day uh, prayer and fasting uh, journey. And uh, so we're so excited that you, you're joining us again in this journey. Um, uh, we believe that not only is this a, a, a God-ordained uh, moment, um, but, it, but even given the context of all that's going on in our, in our communities and, and world, uh, we just see that this is uh, something that God has really um, ordained uh, at, for this season and for this time. And so today's um, topic and focus is the mind of Christ. Of course, we, you know, we've been talking about the church and, um, and just by way of reminder, we've been saying that the church isn't a building. Um, and, and especially in our day right now where buildings are being closed here and there and everywhere, uh, the church is the people, it's the, it's the, the body of Christ. And uh, so we have the opportunity to reflect um, Christ in all that we do and say. And so specifically today, we want to focus on the mind of Christ. So I want to read this passage of scripture and then uh, Pastor Gerardo will share a few things uh, with you guys. So this is our, our scripture for today. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Um, and um, just to put it in, in context, I'm going to start at verse 14. It says this, the natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are folly to him, and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. The spiritual person judges all things, but is himself to be judged by no one. For who has understood the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. And we just wanted to just take some, some, some moments to kind of think about, okay, what does it mean to have the mind of Christ. So I'll just pass this on to Pastor Jurita and she'll share a few things. All right, so I have another scripture to tie along with that, and it's from Philippians 2, verses 1 through 11. And um, I'm gonna read this in the message translation. It says, he took on the status of a slave. If you've gotten anything at all out of following Christ, if his love has made any difference in your life, if being in a community of the spirit means anything to you, if you have a heart, if you care, then do me a favor, agree with each other, love each other, be deep spirited friends. Don't push your way to the front. Don't sweet talk your way to the top. Put yourself aside and help others get ahead. Don't be obsessed with getting your own advantage. Forget yourselves long enough to lend a helping hand. Think of yourselves the way Christ Jesus thought of himself. He had equal status with God, but didn't think so much of himself that he had to cling to the advantages of the status no matter what. Not at all. When the time came, he set aside the privileges of deity and took on the status of a slave, became human. Having become human, he stayed human. It was an incredible, humbling process. He didn't claim pr special privileges. Instead, he lived a selfless, obedient life and then died a selfless, obedient death. And the worst kind of death at that, a crucifixion. Because of that obedience, God lifted him high and honored him far beyond anyone or anything ever so that all created beings in heaven and on earth, even those long ago dead and buried, will bow in worship before this Jesus Christ and call out in praise that he is the master of all to the glorious honor of God the Father. So during this time of... I mean, everyone is kind of in a phase of making sure they're going to the store, making sure they're getting, uh, you know, a bunch of gallons of milk, a bunch of toilet paper, a bunch of whatever Lysol wipes and all of that, thinking of kind of, right, a selfish on their own, like, mm -hmm. I need this for myself, I need this for my family. Mm -hmm. But what about others around you? Mm -hmm. Living and having a mind of Christ means... Mm -hmm. 
hey, get an extra or two and make sure you're buying stuff for maybe your neighbors, an elderly person you know that maybe can't go to the store and maybe they are, you know, they're saying the elderly mm -hmm. are more, um, more vulnerable. More vulnerable, yeah, at yeah. this time. So uh, make sure you're getting stuff for them so that yeah. they don't have to put themselves at risk during this time and going out and getting them themselves. So having a mind of Christ, just mm -hmm. like Jesus, mm -hmm. he put others first mm -hmm. and he made sure he thought of others first, mm -hmm. even down to the death that he had to bear for us, mm -hmm. that crucifixion. Mm -hmm. um, and he did it so selflessly and so obediently to his father, God. So mm -hmm. we too, um, as the body of Christ, as his church, as his people mm -hmm. living in this life today, mm -hmm. how can we be like Christ. Mm -hmm. How can we make sure we have a different mindset and not allowing the panic and the fears and everything else that everyone is doing, um, not allowing that to become our daily, you know, reality as well. Right. Let our daily reality be different, mm -hmm. look different. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, so we can really truly be the church. Yeah. No, that's that is that's exactly right. So it's almost like like the motivation, like right. kind of like where what are we being motivated by? Right. You know, what's what's influencing us to, to for the decisions we're gonna make? Yeah. And what we're saying is that what the scripture says is that the like the mind of Jesus yeah. is what's supposed to be the thing that's really influencing who we are, what we do, you know, the decisions that we make and and the way that we treat others, right. you know, and and think about others. I was I was talking I was actually talking about this passage with my 11 year old and he was asking me that whole thing about like God emptying himself and not grasping. Mm -hmm. And he was like, well, what does that mean, dad? And we were just talking about the fact that, you know, Jesus, you know, he is God, like he is God, very God. And yet he didn't insist on all that comes with being God right. when he came here. He, can't, he voluntarily gave that up. Yeah. And it just blew, like I can just, I could see my 11 year old's mind just like being blown by that reality, you know. And um, so what we're talking about here is such a counter cultural hmm. um, thing, yeah. right? It's not like what you would expect. Um, and and this is a moment for us to do that, church. This is a moment. This is a moment for us to right. do the very thing that that you wouldn't expect to do in a in a moment of crisis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To think about other people in a moment of crisis. To think about okay, how can I be a blessing to somebody else in a moment of crisis that might impact me? Right. You know. Yeah. And um, so we want to take a moment now to just uh, to really pray into that and ask yeah. God for us to. To, to represent him in all the ways that he desires, yeah. starting with right here, what we think, yeah. how we think, that, that what, how we think is being influenced by Jesus right. and what he would do. All right? Mm -hmm. So would you pray with us? Anything else you want to add to that? Um, I, well, one other thought came God. to me as you were speaking. Our armor of God. I was telling my 10-year-old this morning how we all need to be wearing our armor mm -hmm. during this time and even much more during this time, right? Mm -hmm. And so with the mind comes what? The helmet of salvation. Mm -hmm. The helmet of salvation is our trust in God, mm -hmm. our trust in Jesus, mm -hmm. so that we're not letting all those other thoughts invade our mind. So really protecting our mind from all the other things that we're hearing um, that are opposite of what Jesus' mind would look like, right? How our mindset should be. Right. So remember that. Remember to wear your full armor of God and protect your mind above all things. Protect your mind from all the other negativity that's out there during this time and stand upon that solid foundation that is Jesus Christ. Got you. Yeah, so hey, thank you uh, so much, Nana, Jennifer, Rosemary, uh, Deborah. Yeah. Just thanks for joining us and all of you that are joining us either live right now or, um, you know, as, uh, on demand. Um, yeah. Let's pray together. All right. Yeah. So, Father, we come before you right now and we thank you that there is, um, there is instruction for us, even in, in moments of pressure and uh, challenge 
um, like we have right now, God, in our world. They're, they're instructions for us that that just cause us to be rooted and at rest, oh God. So, Father, help us as we navigate these days to, to take into ourselves the mindset that you have for us, that that not not just are we to be thinking for uh, about ourselves or about our concerns but also the concerns of others and we do that like our greatest example Jesus who did exactly that when he came to the earth and um and demonstrated that on a daily basis um, in the ways that he moved, he operated, he related to others, God, that not only was he thinking about his own interests, but he was thinking about the interests of others and not moving from a place of selfish ambition, but a, a place from being unselfish and being uh, generous and, and having a generosity mindset as it pertains to other people. So help us, God, help us. We just we just recognize kind of a propensity, like it's like a pull towards being uh, self-centered. And uh, we, we, we recognize, God, the limitation of that. We recognize that it, it doesn't reflect Jesus. And so we need your help to just mm-hmm. focus on, on others and to see, to, to see opportunities and to grasp them, opportunities yeah. to be a blessing into the lives of other people. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you that we do all these things for your glory. I thank yeah. you that mm-hmm. no one that is trying to be the church right now mm-hmm. will do it in self-ratification, mm-hmm. Lord. That thank they you, will humbly serve their people. Mm-hmm. That they will humbly Amen. reach out to Amen. the ones that are in need, Lord. And mm-hmm. that they do it with a correct mm-hmm. heart and yes, mindset, God. Lord. Yes. With the right spirit, aligned with your word, aligned with your... Um, Lord, your plans for our life, Lord, mm-hmm. that we would fully walk that out mm-hmm. with hum with humility, humble hearts, Lord, mm-hmm. and that um we could just reach reach people during this time. I pray for if if we can purchase extra things to be able to give mm-hmm. it away, Lord, that we would be able to do that. Mm-hmm. That you would send divine appointments, send divine people, Lord, that you mm-hmm. want us to go and serve, Lord. Mm-hmm. That we would have eyes and ears mm-hmm. to see the people around yeah. us in need, Lord, yeah. to reach out and be your, your body during this time, Lord. I thank mm-hmm. you, God, that you will bless abundantly in return those who are doing this for your mm-hmm. glory, Lord. Thank and I God. pray that um, if if we can't, if there's people that can't purchase because of financial mm-hmm. um, concerns or whatever there is, Lord, that, um, Lord, they can just call people and mm-hmm. pray for people. Mm-hmm. Lord, I thank you that mm-hmm. we will be confident and mm-hmm. bold during this time, that yes, we would God. pick up a phone or get on social media, whatever we need to do mm-hmm. to be your voice, your yes, mouthpiece yes, during this yes, time, Lord, yes, that God. the whole church, the mm-hmm. whole world would mm-hmm. hear Amen. Amen. your your kindness, mm-hmm. your love, your yes, plans God. and purposes, yes, and not God. all these other things, mm-hmm. Lord. I thank Mm -hmm. you for your perfect peace during this time, that your people, your people Mm -hmm. would have that peace Mm -hmm. instilled inside of them. And and they are giving that away, that they will not, um, Lord, be distracted by these things, but Mm -hmm. that they will stay in the right path. And they would stay with you, Lord, Mm -hmm. hearing your word and that you were, you're guiding them. You're Mm -hmm. guiding us, Lord. Mm -hmm. We thank you that um, for these coming days, Lord, Mm -hmm. that we um, just honor, honor our government honor those um, in leadership and authority mm-hmm. that are um, guiding us during mm-hmm. this time Lord but mm-hmm. we also pray mm-hmm. we pray for them we pray that mm-hmm. your wisdom your yes, wisdom God. is the wisdom they're that they're following mm-hmm. Lord I thank, thank you Lord. for placing the people there to mm-hmm. be your mouthpiece mm-hmm. into the government Lord mm-hmm. and we just thank, thank you Lord. that we can be just your mouthpiece and hands and feet everywhere mm-hmm. that we go yes God we, we just praise you during this time, and we mm-hmm. thank you. We thank you for mm-hmm. the joy that we could get from you, the mm-hmm. joy, the peace, everything Amen. that we have Amen. because of you, Lord. You thank are you so God. good. You, you mm-hmm. are so good, and we mm-hmm. thank you. We praise you thank for you. just protecting mm-hmm. your people mm-hmm. and allowing us to be mm-hmm. used mm-hmm. mightily, mm-hmm. mightily during this time, that there will be a perfect unity mm-hmm. within all the churches mm-hmm. and um, all your people around the world. Mm-hmm. We Amen. praise you, God, and we thank you for allowing us Amen. to have that mindset, Lord. Mm-hmm. And if there's any time, mm-hmm. any time that that fear or doubt tries to come mm-hmm. in, Lord, that mm-hmm. we fully have your armor yes, that will just mm-hmm. um, 
yeah, remove all these other mm-hmm. things that it'll just bounce right away from yeah, us and gone. it won't even affect us lord mm-hmm. that we would fully walk with you mm-hmm. and in you lord we thank you god we mm-hmm. thank you jesus mm-hmm. amen. amen amen thank you lord thank you lord so you know i'm reminded of jesus being in the boat with the disciples as the storm is kind of just Mm-hmm. around them mm-hmm. and i just sense you know there's there's a storm here yeah. there's a storm here right we're not trying to be um with our heads in the sand there's a storm here but you know what jesus said i just remember jesus words to the storm he said peace yeah. be still yeah. and i'm just saying to us that's what jesus is saying in our day right now peace be still yeah. all right so we're with you we're together we're gonna press on press into what god has for us yeah and um, continue to represent him in, in, in all the ways that he desires to. Thank you again for joining us. Yeah. We will uh, look forward to being together again tomorrow, same time, same channel, 12 noon, um, on, or whatever time you, you get a chance to check out uh, the feed. Yeah. And uh, it's so, such a blessing to be with you. Yeah. All right. And yeah, be creative in the ways that you want to reach people and be the body of Christ. I see that... Um, Someone there, my daughter and I packed backpacks for the homeless and distributed it in Texas. Yes, That's awesome. Deborah, that was awesome. Yeah. Do, do Deborah, so, so let's all continue to um, put others first. Yeah. All right. Hey, God bless you. Thanks again for joining us. And we will see you tomorrow. Yes. Bless you. Take care.